Hello, everyone. Welcome to OMG's Stupid Scary Stories number 23. The Skeetle Woman. Part 4. Let me just get you. Because today, I told you, she got, she got real. She got real. She got real. And we left off. I just gotten back to the depot after uh, fighting some hornets, some ants, and of course mosquitoes. He's debriefed, given control of a 10-man unit to go into normal on the coast, take out the coastal base. Now, we had a plan. I had a really good plan. I advised myself. They said, by all means. By all means. They didn't tell me I couldn't do this. They didn't tell me I couldn't do that. They said, do whatever is necessary to get the job done. I took that upon myself to mean, do whatever the fuck you want. That's what I did. But, Set the tone. Let's set the tone. Be ready though. I gave my men their specific locations which I expected them to hit. What we were gonna do was encircle the base. It's a big one. We had drone support for this one as well, so I wasn't worried. Now I noticed on the coastlines we had less hornets to do. Still had to worry about ants, but not so much hornets. But God, tons and tons and tons of mosquitoes. So I said to my squadron, "Listen, some of you are not going to make it home. Look to your left. Look to your right." One of you's not coming back. Sorry. We'll make sure that we notify your families. But hear this. Hear this. If we are successful, we will have broken their chokehold on the coastline. So don't think about your life in particular. Think about the lives of men. Think about all the lives that they've already taken. And we must avenge, folks. We, we gotta do this. I'm at risk. I might not come home. So don't think that I'm gonna send you anywhere that I won't go myself. We dapped each other, fist bumped, geared up, hopped in our vehicles. We set out. Now, I'm gonna tell you guys something. They knew we were coming. This wasn't a covert mission. It wasn't a special operation. This was a straight up blunt attack. Like a hammer coming down a nail. BAH! We weren't trying to hide it. We sent the drones in ahead of us. Spraying the area, lacing certain spots that we knew they were hiding. Artillery was fired. Ooh, gas grenades landed in the area. But we knew this would only have a limited effect. We knew that the main battle was gonna be on the ground. And it was gonna be us who was gonna take the brunt of the punishment. I remember. Drove in. Seven miles an hour. Flying down the highway. Pulled off. Stopped the gas station. 
gas dump because I forgot to get gas before I left. I'm too worried about getting there quickly. All at the same time, out a window. We try to hit them at dawn. I mean, there's less of it. We knew if we didn't get there at dawn, we would be facing forces much more prepared and ready for an attack. Because like I said, they knew we were coming, folks. They knew we were coming. We were the, there was no hiding our intentions at all. And plus, like I told you, we breathe carbon dioxide, so it would smell just a mile away. I remember that. Gassed up at the gas station, got some beef jerky. I was mad about it because it wasn't Sergeant Dunn's. But I had to settle for something. I needed some sustenance, energy, you know what I'm saying? I had to eat something. Anyway, I finished gassing up. Hop back in the truck, radioed into my guys. I said, listen, this is how it's gonna go down. We're gonna strike our targets simultaneously to not allow them to have a counteroffensive. We hit them all at once and circle them. They'll have no other choice but to retreat to their base to protect it, because they know what we want. They know what we want. And be careful of the ants. Careful the ants. Don't allow them to swarm your legs. Then you'll be getting bit up and annoyed and agitated, and that'll give the skills chance to start biting you. And it's just not going to be good. About 10 minutes went by, standing at the ground. I ordered the attack. Lightning speed struck. Bang, bang, bang. We're hitting the little. Little nesting outpost left and right. Pow, pow, pow. Take them down. It was glorious. It was glorious. It stood no chance. So we thought at first. But we learned the hard way as we usually do that these little crappy sons of bitches have something up their wings. Always. First call came in. From one of my troops. He said, Hey! There. They're all. Radio went dead. Never got to hear what they were doing. The radio saw a couple of the other soldiers that were in the general vicinity of the area. Hey, hey, guys! Bob just checked in. Cut right off. I don't know what's going on. I need one of you guys to go over there and check it out. Let me know if the line has been broken. Maybe he just dropped his cell phone because he was swatting Let me know though. It was a tense five minutes, folks. It was a tense five minutes. Not knowing what was going on, not knowing if Bob was dead, if the line had been broken, because see, if they broke through the encirclement, that means they can encircle us and then have us trapped between their base and them. Oh, that would not be good at all. That wouldn't be fucking good at all. We'd be stuck. No way to get back to our vehicles. The only thing we could do would be to fight. That's exactly what the fuck happened. The call came over the radio. Bob's down! Ah, oh, Bob's down! There's too many of them! I, ah! Damn it. Bob and Jim are dead, guys. We have no choice. Then another call came over the radio. It was Jeff. They're behind us! Sir! Sir, please! Help! Ah! It's three of them down to seven men! What are we doing here? Men, push forward! Push forward! We have to hit the base! We have to hit the base! Call for indirect fire support! Jim got on the radio and did his best to get us artillery support. We're off by at least a quarter of a fucking mile. I mean, it did absolutely nothing for us at all. I don't know how they fucked up the borders. The thing dude was smoking weed and just miscalculated. But needless to say, it did nothing for us. We were still stuck there. Jeff died. It's three of my guys gone. Jeff, Bob, Jim. 
Rick calls me. Sir, I found the trench. We must rally. We must rally. We can't do this separate. We gotta rally together. I said, you're right. You're right, Rick. Get everybody together. Rally together at this, these coordinates. What do I do? Get coordinates. We met up. Lost another three guys. I went down to only freaking six. Five. I don't even know how many people we have. Right? No, we went there with 11, so we lost six guys, and that means we have five. Yeah, five. Including myself. It's a terrible, terrible loss. And I can only imagine what was happening elsewhere. But we couldn't think about it. We couldn't think about it. It was us or them. And right now, they were fucking us up. I prayed. God, please help me. Please help me. We're trapped. Only you can save us. By your grace, please. We loaded up. We knew what we had. There's only one thing we could do. Was to hit the base of everything. We started moving forward. Under heavy attack. Heavy attack. The mosquitoes and their allies, the fucking gnats, were just relentlessly attacking us. We lost two more before we even got within a half a mile of the base. Three of us. Only three of us left. Me, Rick, and James. Not Rick James, but Rick and James. There's no super freak shit going on this day, I'll tell you that. Fucking terrifying. The humming bees told us. Listen. There's a small passenger. Ah. Oh. You might just be able to get in long enough to do what you've got to do. We took some of the grenades off the dead bodies. We moved to this orchard that the bees told us about. We trusted them, you know. We had no reason not to. They're mini bees. They love us, right? It was a fucking trap. Honey bees, why? You know we can't kill you. Shit. I thought you were on our side. We were fighting the ball face hornets. You were a sworn enemy. Why would you do this to us? Because you're assholes. Simple as that. Steal our honey. Put us in these hives and things. Smoke. Agitate us. You're tired. We don't even fucking care if we die. We're just tired of you human beings. Why? You just told me why, but shit. We fought brownly. Bravely. Ferociously. I mean, we had no choice. We were trapped. They led us into this orchard because in this orchard were some black faced hornets. They made a deal with these sons of bitches. Black faced hornets told them, hey, listen, you don't attack us. We'll lead the humans here. Okay? We promise you. Bald faced hornets were like, oh my All right. God. All right. We'll spare you today, maybe even tomorrow, if you bring us the humans. And bring them the humans they did. It's terrible. Wasp stings, mosquito bites, ants, gnats. The honeybees weren't fighting with us, but they weren't helping us at all. With the bald faced hornets there, and there's no hope of dragonflies in the game. We were on our own, just the three of us. Outnumbered. 
I'm gun. I'll bug. Put our backs to the trees. Hope. Hope. That would protect us a little bit. Spraying in every direction. Throwing grenades into the thick of them. But only killing thousands at a time, which wasn't enough. There were. Man, I couldn't even count how many there were. There were just so many. Sad. I told my men, listen. We're not gonna make it out of here. We're gonna die. We're gonna die. There's no doubt about it. In my mind. We are going to die. Shit. I need you, Rick, to find that fucking bald face hornet nest and knock that shit the fuck down. I don't give a fuck how you do. Chop the tree down if you have to. Fuck. James. We're gonna have to push forward hard, fast, and in a hurry. Don't worry about them getting behind us. We need to get to this base. We need to get to it now. It's our only chance. We cannot let ourselves die in vain. We can't. James didn't have any kids or anything like that. You know, he's a single guy. Lonely. So. He said, boss. I'll do it. I'll do it. I said, do what? He said, kamikaze, motherfucker. That's what I'm going to do. Give me your backpack. Get back to the truck. Tell Rick to get to his truck after he takes care of that office. So I will take out this face. I know I'm not coming back. Don't worry about it. You've got kids. I want you to get home to the kids and the wife. Don't forget the milk. She asked you Keep forgetting that shit. But you know, fight these fucking mosquitoes. I, I hardly have time to think about that shit. You got beef jerky today, didn't you? Yeah, but I gotta eat. I'm not gonna drink milk. I'm not too intolerant. I'll be farting up my truck and shit. That'll be disgusting. I have to smell that shit. Wait a minute. You don't have to die, James. I have an idea. We will flame off. You still got that uh, chocolate milk in your truck? Get your truck. Hurry. Bring me the chocolate milk. I need it. I need it now. I need it now. I hunkered down, spraying skills, covering his exit. Came back with milk. Drank it. Five minutes. Don't worry about it. Five minutes is fine. I need you to stand behind me with a lighter. Gurgle in the bubble. It's about to be on. Call Rick. Tell him to get back here. We're gonna take this fucking base down. Right fucking now. I held the gas in as long as I could. Ran as fast as we could to the base. Now, I don't know if any of you are lactose intolerant, but it's kind of hard to run when you've got gas and cramps. But I did my best. We had the light ring. We got to the base. Buzzy was just immense. That's all you could hear. You couldn't even hear yourself fucking think. Almost forgot what I was gonna do because the buzzing was so bad. But I remember. Gas, lighter, yeah, let's go. I let loose a fart so disgustingly stank. Melted the nose hairs out of my nose. It's bad. Lighter! James! Woof! Flames erupted from my ass like a blowtorch. Woof! Hit the trees, hit their little nesting area. I heard the screams of the mosquitoes as they cried. First things first, though, oh god, the stench, the absolute stench. They were writhing in it. And the flames in them, they were just burnt fucking crisps. It's all little tiny smoke trails hitting the ground. All over the place. We murdered probably like 100, fucking 50,000 of them with that first explosion of ass gas. It's wonderful. It's wonderful. 
the base was aflame. They were trying to put the fires out, spraying them. We were giving them no quarter, none whatsoever. There was no way they were going to survive this. The bald faced hornet saw this and made a hasty retreat. They wanted no parts of the ass gas, no parts of it at all. And, for good reason, I didn't even want to parts of this. Ugh, Nasty. Oh, God. Almost choked myself out. But, I survived. So did Rick and James. We made it. We survived this night. Left their base smoldering wreck. We didn't kill all of them. We ran out of chemicals. And I ran out of ass gas. No more milk. So that was the end of that. We made our way back to the truck. Split up. Headed back to the depot. For another depot. I told man, I said, you sons of fucking bitches. You sent us into a fucking trap. Yes, we did, knowing. But we were able to capture Bridgeport, Westport, Southport with no casualties. We're sorry your unit took the brunt of the attack. But we now have them on the ropes. You should be proud of yourself. We commend you for your bravery. Fuck you. Fucking kidding me? You were willing to sacrifice all of us? Well, I, I guess I can see your point. Yeah. We did end up getting that base though, guys. I mean, so we could consider Norwalk a chalk mark to the side of good human beings. Love it. It's just another day. Another day in the ongoing field. Rick and James said they would never ever fight with anyone else but me. Came my permanent crew members. The elite mosquito squad, squadron of squads. The best of the best. We had already taken so many losses. Survived. Came up with ingenious ways of destroying these little sons of bitches that nobody else even thought about. My rank was promoted. That's right, I was now a lieutenant. But at what cost? Human cost was great. God. Eight minutes in less than an hour. Dead. There was nothing I could do about it. I felt guilty for a little while. Then I thought to myself, well, it was for the better good. For the better good. But I told Command about the fucking honeybees, how they tricked us. But there was nothing we could do. We can't kill bees. We need them. Unfortunately, sons of bitches, you little tricky bastards. Fuck you, man. And your fucking honey and chills. Well, after the day, we did capture most of the coastline. But there was a resurgence in the end. A couple of marshes we had passed by in our rush to take back the coast were starting to repopulate, build forces, gather for a heavy attack behind us, push us into the water. You know we can't swim or we'll drown. We have no boats, no mosquito squad boats, just trucks and vans. No boats. You would think we would have boats, but no, no boats. Reconnaissance drones were bringing back the information that we needed to plan our next attack. Small skirmishes about the whole entire state. We fought well into the night that day. Well, into the night. Yeah, it was nighttime. It was sunlight. When they're at their most active, you would think they'd be out during the day. No, no, no. no. They're at mostly the dusk. The sun goes down, they come out. It's, they don't like the sun too much. And I thought to myself, well, why don't we get like bright lights? And, like make them really hot. Burn them that way. That idea was fucking fuel. 
all we did was attract more bugs to the light. It's terrible. All these bugs everywhere. Moths and shit. And flies. Galadipos and things. It's everywhere. We had no problems with them. At first. At first we had no problems with them. But just like the honeybees, we were starting to wonder how many more of these insects were going to turn on us. Would the spiders turn on us? Well, yeah, they did. We're like, what the fuck, man? You're killing all of our food. Like, you're starving us out here. What are we supposed to eat? We can't eat you. We can bite you, but we can't eat you. We tried to reach some type of an agreement with the spiders. Shaky at best. Shaky at best. I mean, how can we wage our war without upsetting the spiders? We're gonna kill some of your food. It's just inevitable. Move out of the fucking areas. We warned you. We fucking warned you. We said bounce from these zones. We're coming and we're fucking destroying shit. But they didn't want to listen. So now, fucking they declare war. And we gotta watch out for tree spiders, spiders on leaves, spiders under the grass, spiders in webs. And we're walking out there, woods, big huge web that you can't see. You walk into it, you're like, oh, why not? trying to pull web off your face. The next thing you know, the spider's on the side of your neck, but you don't know it's there, but you know your body moves. So it feels like, like ah, ah, but it's too late. You've been bit. Now you got a big, huge lump on the side of your neck from a fucking spider bite. Not to mention that some of these spiders have really bad poison, really bad, you know. We lost like seven people, just the spiders alone, that day. That day, after such a crushing victory, we suffered crushing defeats, and not even from the mosquitoes. This war was not going the way we wanted it to. I mean, what were we going to resort to? Nuclear? The marsh? We need the land. We don't want to destroy it. We just want to destroy them. <sighs> well, needless to say, folks. Needless to say. Weeks went by. Months. It's getting towards the end of the mosquitoes. It was hot. Terrible. I remember this week specifically because there was a heat wave lasting four fucking days of 100 degree or more weather. Humid like you wouldn't believe. The air was like walking in a freaking steam instant moisture splush soaked breathing heavy 70 pounds worth of gear on your back AC fighting to cool you we had several people die of fucking heat exhaustion it was terrible some of our people quit. They were like, fuck this shit. I'm moving someplace where there aren't any mosquitoes. You guys can fight this fucking war. I'm out. But I was determined. I was determined. I already lost so many men. My own men. James. No, James is so hard. It was Jim, Jeff, Bob, Joe, Aaron, Charles. Timothy. Yeah, I remember this fucking days. How could I not? I had to notify each one of their wives. Children. What could I offer them? Their mosquito squad shirt? Sure. Oh, flag. This wasn't sanctioned by the US government, so they disavowed us. Uh, we don't know anything about the mosquito squad. I don't know what they're doing. Uh, Sponsoring this type of war that you're having. You're fucking. There are some people in this country that don't have to deal with mosquitoes, so therefore we don't care. And care they did not. At all. No, not even a little. Anyway, like I was saying, it's a key. It was hot. people. We had to go back to the marshes. And marshes, when it's really, really hot, humid, are 
fucking terrible. It's like swaps. You know what I'm saying? We asked the frogs. You guys, like, eight bucks and shit. Help us out. If you help us, we won't eat frog legs for a long time. They contemplated. They said, you know what? We'll help. We'll help. But we ended up killing more of them than we did of the mosquitoes because they're extremely sensitive to the chemicals that we used. And we were not aware of this at the time. So, yeah, that didn't work out too well. Which then angered some animals. Amphibians, obviously. They said these fucking humans are fucking ridiculous. What are they doing? They're destroying the ecosystem. Yeah, that's what we're doing, but we're trying to survive. You're not gonna survive if you destroy the ecosystem, guys. You do realize that, right? Like, um, all things have a place. Fuck you. Mosquitoes have one place. That's on the ground, dead, gone. Tell us everything has a fucking place. No! Well, yes, but I already told you where their place is. On the ground dead, smushed, gas, burned, swatted, whatever means you can find to kill them. Whatever means. Whatever means. By any means necessary. Well, I just want to say this. The final battle of the season was quickly upon us. <laughs> this last operation was to decide the fate of all humanity that deals with mosquitoes in this state. Would we be victorious? Well, obviously we were because I'm telling you the story, but I'm not gonna tell you the final story. Tomorrow, I will give you the fifth and final part of the scheme.